Okay, I'd like to share a story with you. And this story has three bears. Oh, you may say, I'm familiar with this story, but it's gonna have a little bit of a twist to it. And so today we're going to use the three bears to help us remember the three uses of the law. All right, so the first use of the law is to help us know right from wrong. So we're going to think about Papa Bear and his big deep voice, and he's going to say, stop, right? So the law helps us know how to be honest, how to be fair, how to live in community, how to um, uh, love God and, and all our responsibilities. Stop, right? So we're going to think of the first use of the law like a stop sign, okay? Second use of the law, we're going to go to Mama Bear, all right, so here's Mama Bear. She's got lots of beautiful hair. All right, wait for it. There we go. And she's going to look in the mirror, all right, for the second use of the law. All right, so the second use of the law is when we, you look at the law and we see how we're doing with the law. And we see that we're not doing very well, all right? Um, we look at that reflection and we see how that law shows how much we're falling short and that we can't get it done the way that God has asked us to get it done. So that brings us to the third use of the law. law and that's going to be the baby bear version that is just right, okay? So here's little baby bear all dutied up, ready to go to church. Because Baby Bear helps us remember the third use of the law, which is where we use it as a guide. We use it as a guide. This is what we should be doing. If we let God work in our lives and in our hearts, we're going to get more of this right than not. And then where the gap is, then that's where Jesus' death and resurrection fills in that gap with his love. Um, and we can follow up to the loving heart of God.